Video 13 is the Layers Pod. What's really great about digital painting is layers. And this is the Layers Pod. Just simply click on it and it will come up. The grip means that you can bring it down or bring it up. You can click on the actual title and move it anywhere you want, completely off or back on. You can right click and you can scale it anywhere from 50% to 200. In fact, all the pods do this. You can jauntify it. You can hold down your Alt key, click on the title and rotate it. And you can right click and reset the scale and rotation. Now on the layers palette, you have like new, which means if you click it, you get a new layer and it's highlighted. Mine happens to be red. Yours might be lime green. I've changed mine as I showed you how in a prior video. This is the menu. And you can add a layer, duplicate a layer, make a layer visible, lock a transparency, set a layer name, set layer opacity, edit layer texture. You can do a blend mode and it's, the default is set at normal. You can choose any of these. The bump blend modes, you can do maximum or replace or add to. And we'll explain that later. The transform the layer contents from here. The clear layer is grayed out right now because there's nothing on the layer. You can delete a layer. Let's click that and it'll go away. And you can merge a layer if you wanted to down, but these are grayed out so they can't be done until you have more than one layer. You can merge all layers. You can add a layer group. You can close a layer group. You can reveal the current layer. Say you've got 20 layers and you want to know where you're at, then you could click on this one. You can export a layer, meaning whatever you have on that layer, you can make into a bitmap, a PNG, a JPEG. You can export the layer to channels. You can make a new stencil from the layer contents and you can also change your canvas settings if you want from here. Now that's on that menu. Then each one of your layers has a menu and it's similar. Not as quite as many things, but it is similar. So let's make a new layer so I can show you this a little bit better. Now let's do a paint stroke. If I click on this layer visibility, it'll go away or come back. If I click on this, I can turn this down to say 75% and click OK and it'll be lighter. I can lock the transparency. And then if I go to the airbrush tool, choose a different color and just paint and not be careful at all. You can see that I'm just painting and all the rest has been locked. Sometimes you'll want to do this, especially like if you want to change a color and you don't want to have to try and do the selection tool and select it. Well, this is a good option. If you've made a lot of layers, then you can do this easily. You can duplicate this layer And if we bring this down, you can see where it's been duplicated, but it doesn't look like it. If you go to the Transform tool, click on it, and move it, you'll see that you have to and click out. Now I can bring this one down to the very bottom, and it'll be underneath. I can then paint something in here and you can see that it went underneath and over the top and that's the beauty of layers if i bring this all the way to the top by moving it up and you see the little kitty cat 
then it's always on top. So this means you could paint like your foreground first and then do your background or you can do your background and then the foreground like traditional but you can paint any any way you like with the layers so use them don't be afraid of them they're there for your benefit in fact it's what makes digital painting so awesome and in the next video we're going to talk about how to group layers